You know, Sybil. <laughs> oh, dear. I, I, yes. The O. Diane nail wrap. It's yes. extraordinary. May I do your eyes? <laughs> Lovely. Um, <laughs> this, this. Who said that? The way we, how about a song? How about a song? Mr. Gay History <laughs> advises us on music. Wonderful. Stick to fag facts, please. Thank you. We barely know it, so we can't do it as a joke. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> no, the next time you say thank you about this song, look up, cross yourself, and say thank you. <laughs> We're going to do a song for you, which um, we used to do in grade school together. It was yes. real fun, and we're not sure we know all the words, so just be patient with us, okay? And if we don't, um, talk among yourselves, make dates, whatever, okay? Now you'll have to do without the blood because we don't have our pencils. <laughs> should reject you there's me to protect you if i say that your tongue is vicious if i call you uncouth it's simply that who else but a bosom buddy will sit down and tell you the truth though i am aware that now and again my candid opinions may sting how often my frank observation might scald <laughs> You know, I've been meaning to tell you for years, Hurricane, you should keep your hair natural like mine. If I kept my hair natural like yours, I'd be bald. But, darling, we'll always be dear companions. My crony. My mate. We'll always be harmonizing. Zing, zing, zing. Does he have to play? I'm sorry, but it was your fault. Oh, I'm sorry it was not. Our pianist is prettier than you. You're the reason that drugs are not the answer. <laughs> or for Nanny and Sandy like Amos and Andy. If I say that your sense of style is as far off as your youth, it's simply that. Who else but a bosom buddy will tell you the whole stinking truth? You know, <laughs> each time that a critic has written, your voice is the voice of a frog. Straight to your side to defend you, I rush. Well, thank, thank you. you. You know that I'm there every time that the world makes an unkind remark. Greedy. <laughs> when they say Hurricane Summers is the world's fattest, biggest, lush, it hurts me. <laughs> it might. And if I say, your fangs are showing, <laughs> Sybil pulling your claws, it's simply that who else but a bosom buddy could notice the obvious flaws? Oh, oh, oh. How soon <laughs> you're gonna see the moon tonight, Alice? I Not feel... in the bedroom. No, go ahead. I feel... Let's be friends. <laughs> I'm sorry, dear. You're beginning, you're beginning to sound like Shaka Khan. I feel, I feel for you. I... Is, is, is that why you dropped your microphone? No, tell me, do you always have trouble with oblong objects? <laughs> Only when they're not in my mouth. <laughs> or elsewhere. I feel, I feel it's my duty to tell you. It's time to adjust to your age. Pardon. <laughs> you try to be cute little Whitney Houston when, when you're Lady Macbeth. <laughs> exactly, exactly how old are you, Hurricane? The truth. How old do you think? Oh, I'd say somewhere in between 30 and death. Bye. 
but sweetie. I'll always be Alice Toklas if you'll be Gertrude Stein. And though I'll admit I've dissed you, I've gossiped, I've gloated, but I'm a so devoted. And if I say that sex and guts made you into a star, it's simply that who else but a bosom body would tell you how rotten you are. <laughs> Just turn to your bosom body for aid and affection, for health and direction, for loyalty, love and for suit. Remember that who else but a bosom body will sit down and devil will give you the devil will sit down and tell you the truth. <laughs>